Stories are legend. Uh, his quips about um, improvisation when he works with students, when in doubt, trill. Salvation is a half step away, or that if you make a mistake, repeat it. So. You never were allowed to take yourself seriously. Um, there was always a sense of fun and adventure. These things trivialize the tremendous skill that he has developed and which he has imparted to a younger generation. So much so, in fact, that they're really uh, you could hardly think of an organ department in America today without having uh, course offerings in improvisation. That was not the case 50 years ago. A very simple question. Nothing but a scale, of course. But if I were to answer it like this. <laughs> it would not be a very convincing. Many of us have seen Jerry uh, do his workshops on improvisation for some that, are, that can really improvise, some that have absolutely no skill whatsoever. And it's always fun to watch. Andante still. That's a very popular tempo. <laughs> very chic this year. Okay. He'll have uh, everyone count in time so that we know where the phrases are and how, many fra how long the phrases are. And have everybody almost do a round robin of coming up to the organ and playing four bars and then the next person uh, continues the next four bars seamlessly and uh, Jerry has a way of making everyone feel comfortable doing that something they would never do otherwise get up and improvise without any preparation in front of their colleagues and peers and uh, when Jerry does it it seems like it's an improvisation party more than any other American organist for certain uh, he has blazed the trail in developing his uh, improvisational skill improvising publicly on submitted themes uh, and even according to the rigors of contrapuntal improvisation. Um, and uh, his influence in that is absolutely unique in this country. <laughs> 